I turned to look. I saw a third man attacking me. Somehow his kicks had no effect on me. I was too determined to kill to be stopped. I grabbed him by his leg. I pulled him to the ground. Then I went on top of him as I stabbed him. I hated him for kicking me, so I stabbed him worse than the other two. In fact, I was stabbing him even when he was already dead. I felt different in the dream. Like I had a completely different brain. It was like I had different memories that led to different tendencies. I was another person. I can still feel my deeper anger for him. Then I woke up. I felt dread as I switched on my TV. It was true. Yes, they were stabbed to death in a horse stable. Yes, it did happen. Now I feel worse than ever. It's like I really did it. It's just a dream. Dream. Thermo play. Take a shower. You will feel better. Oh, you still call me by my full first name? You're the only one who does that. Everyone I know now finds ways of shortening or simplifying it. Maybe because they don't know what inspired it. Go take that shower. Okay, doctor. You're right. It's just a dream. I was ready to stay gloomy all day before I take, took a shower. Showers do help. I'm right. Am I not? Yes, doctor. I'm curious about what's happening to you, though. Sam, I'm curious why they're reaching my nightmares. I'm trying to figure it out. Do you have patience for this day? Yes, I'm sticking tags during the current session. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go now. It's okay. I really want to help you figure it out, but I don't want to get in the way of your job. Okay, you take care, all right? Anything you say, doctor. Help me. The police are chasing me because someone said I killed Mildred. What? Who? What happened? I went to the grocery store to buy milk. When I turned into an aisle, an old lady froze in shock. She stared at me, then she started screaming. She pointed at me and said that I killed Mildred. Who's Mildred? The woman in the red dress who was killed the other night. The one in my dream? Yeah, and she was not really a dream. I didn't know her name. Her name was Mildred. I ran out of the grocery store. She was shout shouting at the cashier to call the police. I ran to the car without the milk. I drove away from there. Police cars started chasing me as I drove. I managed to lose them. Now I'm hiding in my house. I can't even call you because they could be here at any moment. They'd hear that I'm home. You should have run. You shouldn't have run. That could add to your charges against you. You should surrender if they find you. But Dana, I have something... I have to tell you something. What is it? I have a bruise on my shoulder right now. It's on the same spot where the man in my dream had kicked me. The third man whom I murdered in that dream. I don't know if this makes sense, but what if I really did it? What if I really murdered all those innocent people in some way, in a way that I don't know? This bruise on my shoulder just really would make explaining myself to the court difficult, especially with that witness around. Oh my god, you really think it's possible? that you did it but i know you wouldn't do that yes but i got a bruise i can't explain i don't know where it came from a person who appears to be normal says that i did those crimes and then the there are nightmares my nightmares that are exactly like what happened you and i can both at least attest that i had such nightmares what else do these facts mean innocent or not innocent you have to surrender because that's what a good person could would do. God, I wonder what's wrong with me. I no longer know what's real and not real. My nightmare is turning out to be possibly real. They're here. I can hear the sirens. They stopped in front of my house. I can hear men's voices, footsteps walking up to my door, knocking. They're telling me to open the door. I'll go open it. Goodbye, my childhood best friend. I don't know what they'll do to me. I hope they won't hurt me. I hope I won't get lynched. I hope they won't throw me into prison. I hope I won't get locked up all my life, tortured, and never be heard from. Please pray for me, please. We both never believed in God, but for once, do it for me. Um.